Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm so glad to show you six of the new shades from Lisa Eldridge Gloss Embrace. I decided to purchase at first three shades and then I added a second order and I purchased other three shades. I really love this gloss formula, it's one of the best gloss I ever tried and it feels so smooth and comfortable on the lips. It also contains vitamin E and it's really nourishing. So in this period my lips are very dry so I particularly enjoy this kind of product. So I have other free shades. I have um, a fair, I have a songbird and muse. So the nude shade I mean. So firstly I bought uh, Dancing Rose, Blush Lightly and Carnival. And then I came back purchasing Decade, Sorcery and Pompadour. Sorcery I think it's out of stock so when I bought uh, so when I bought it then I noticed that it went out of stock. I don't know if uh, actually is a restocked or not but it's such a peculiar shade you know so beautiful i just want to try with you these uh, glasses and uh, let you see how they look like on me so let's start with uh, blush lightly that is a muted cool toned pink with a delicate mauve undertone this is the description you can find also on Lisa website and absolutely the color is a cool tone pink and it's so beautiful and natural also onto the lips once applied let you see the swatches here is the color you see it's particularly pretty It looks uh, so beautiful and also natural on the lips, I mean. So on Lisa website you can see there are three different kind of uh, level of uh, pigmentation. So there is uh, the no pigment, so just a translucent effect. Then a light level of pigmentation and a medium coverage, so a medium level of pigment so blush lightly remains in the light level so the natural effect on the lips so let's see how it performs on the lips i already tried this kind of color today and it's beautiful okay This is blush lightly on me. You see the shine. There are no sparkles in it, so just a shiny effect. Some, um, so it's very natural. It's a cool tone pink. Such a pretty shade. I love it. I'm wearing on my eyes some violet shade from Mid Palette, and I think they looks good together also can add a little bit more just to intensify it really looks good i love this kind of shade i must admit that i love also blush uh, lightly the lip pencil and the lipstick and i think this complements everything so well so if you have blush light lipstick you can put it on and also over the lip pencil so such a beautiful shade now let's see dancing rose a very beautiful and elegant name for this gloss it looks like a fairy dreamy shade have a look how beautiful it has this um, pink glitters in it so it's a blend of pink lavender and violet uh, glitters 
micro glitters. I mean, they are very, very tiny and there is no pigmentation. So in the gloss base, uh, it's uh, without any pigment. And let's see. So it's a clear gloss, uh, if you can see here. pretty this can be used uh, by itself uh, or also as a top coat or something like a final touch uh, or also mixed with other glosses for example if you love to have a more sparkling effect so let's see how it looks like on nude bare lips oh so beautiful I love it. I absolutely love it. I think camera can catch the beauty of this gloss. So you can see the light cool effect on the lips, uh, the gloss, the little sparkles. just beautiful by itself so also with um, a pencil if you want to line um, and have more definition but it's so lovely I love it so I have to say that you don't feel the um, uh, the glitters onto your lips so it's very comfortable very smooth yeah now it's time for sorcery here is a sorcery and it has a um, natural light uh, level of pigment and okay sorcery belongs to the shades that Lisa creates uh, and they I call them magic shades because <laughs> they are shades that I eventually didn't consider at all but once tried I'm so attracted to, to this kind of shades uh, like Velvet Decade, for example, and so also Decade Gloss. Uh, yes, once tried, uh, you say, oh, they, they're wonderful itself, so you can't miss them at all. I decided to skip at first, uh, even if I like the shades so much, and then uh, I, I just come to purchase because I had to try this kind of shade. So let's see how sorcery looks on the lips. Okay. It's cool and it's described as an earthy rose with mauve undertones. It really is. Beautiful also. So you lose in um, sorcery the vivid component of pink that blush lightly might have. So it really, um, it's really more um, muted in a way, but still cool. So it's very, very beautiful. Once you remove this kind of gloss, you can see how it really naturally toned your lips in a muted way but still natural i love the this kind of effect and now let's see one of the most beloved shade in my opinion of these glosses pompadour very spring um, shade i i read a lot of uh, comment about uh, uh, pompadour and so people i think love this kind of color this is pompadour and it's so pretty here is my beloved range of shades so just looking at it i just love it so it's love at first sight for me this kind of color see so beautiful
I hope you can catch the luminosity also of this cloth, it's so pretty. Oh. Also, Pompadour is a um, natural light level of pigmentation. Okay. I love it. I missed uh, Rain Gloss and I saw it's out of stock, but I decided to go for Pompadour because it looked more uh, cool, so the kind of pink I love the most, but also Rain looks so pretty. Nice. So beautiful. I love it. It reminds me of the shades I love the most for glosses, like the glosses from Dior, from Lancome, Stellar Gloss. So even if it has not that sparkling effect with glitters, but I can mix it with Dancing Rose. Let's try. Take Dancing Rose. This is a new gloss. <laughs> oh, I love Pompadour with Dancing Rose. So beautiful. And even without any lip pencil, look at the definition you can obtain with these kind of glasses. Let's try Carnival. Carnival is such a beautiful fuchsia shade, very, very cool. Have a look at the intensity of this kind of tone. It belongs to the range with a medium level of pigmentation, so it's more intense. Here near Pompadour. So pretty. This is one swipe of Carnival. Very luminous, beautiful shade. Just another swipe. Oh, oh. So pretty. I can imagine this kind of lipstick or with a, a very precise winged eyeliner and bare and nude um, eyelid or something more, um, yeah, very ethereal on the eye, so very wash of light shade and then ah, this lipstick. <laughs> so beautiful. I can't imagine even over Velvet Carnival, it would be shocking shade, so beautiful, I really love it. And then, last but not least, Decade. As I told you before, I have a Decade um, lipstick and it's such a particular, and it's such a particular shade between chocolate and berry mauve tones, so very hard to describe. Let's see, Decade, it has a medium level of uh, pigmentation, so you have more covered like for um, Carnival Gloss. Okay, this is the color of the cake and you can see the scale of tones uh, I have watched before so blush lightly dancing rose sorcery pompadour carnival and decade let's see the application Ooh. Okay. You see? 
also beautiful so elegant this is quite the effect I obtain with a blur decade lipstick I mean the intensity the wearable intensity for everyday occasion oh I love it apply another swipe beautiful and this is the final swatches so thank you for watching i hope this video could be helpful for you let me know your favorite shades from lisa eldridge new collection and see you soon bye